Does anybody see anything that may it maybe make this cow pasture look a little a little nicer, a little more realistic? It could probably fit in well with the pasture here. Yeah, you're thinking what I'm thinking. We need a sand castle. That's right. Yeah, I I know. Yeah, I know you're thinking that. We need a sand castle. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Look at it. I mean, it's like ten times better now. We got a sand castle. Heck yeah, brother. So. Okay, why is this sandcastle so small too? And why is this even in farm sim? I'm wondering, like, I was looking through this stuff. I'm like, yeah, all these sheds and decorations completely related to farming. And then we have a sandcastle. A sandcastle. Like, where does that idea even come from? But it's kind of fun to have in the game. <laughs> okay, so, obviously, we're going to be getting cows. We need cows, guys. We really need cows. So, what I think I'm going to do is we need a livestock trailer too. And we got the driveway all done last stream. Driveway is completely done here, and it's looking pretty nice. I wish I could put, like, concrete or cement down. That'd be perfect if we could, but right now, pretty much all I did is... I thought I cultivated this. Did I not? Okay, never mind. I didn't cultivate this. So, it's plowed up here, and then you can see where the cultivator comes through. Kind of just takes away some of these, uh, like, plow ridges, if you want to call them. Oh, and we got weeds through here. Darn it. Darn, okay, I didn't, the weeds came up. I rolled it overnight and the weeds came up. So, our driveway's gonna keep growing weeds in it. I need something to make these, ah, uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be kind of tough, actually, if our driveway keeps growing weeds. For now, I'm gonna let it be. We know that's our driveway here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is jump in our semi. And we need to buy a livestock trailer. And then we need to start buying cows. Now, I have, okay, we need something to get over there. Do I even have, okay, we'll take one of these tractors. We'll take the 8RT back. Because the 8RT was literally just used for the plow to plow our driveway real nice. Now, by the way, guys, I have uh, merch out also. It just released yesterday. The first, uh, what I'm doing is like the th first 30 or 40 people will tag me on a photo on Instagram or um, email me a photo of them wearing it and stuff. I'll shout you out in a video and I'll like, I'll slide your picture on the screen for like five seconds and shout you out wearing uh, my merch when I, when I mention merch. So for example, once you guys get it, there'd be a picture up of, uh, of somebody wearing it and stuff right now. You'd see, you'd see yourself on there if you were to send me. A photo of you wearing it so that's kind of the plan that's what i'm doing with merch it's out it's the first link in the description if you want to check her out it looks the site looks a lot cleaner and it's uh version two of the merch so it looks that some of the designs are pretty sweet and there's going to be a couple more designs coming out through christmas and stuff like that so 8rt is heading back here now let me use my controller here i think what i'm going to do is well first of all we have seventy seven thousand dollars so I know my cows are going to cost more than $77,000. I know a livestock trailer is going to cost more than $77,000. So, I think the uh, logical option here is to just take out a loan. And with cows, I always I always kill cows because I'm just horrible with livestock in farm sim. And I always seem to lose money with cows. I can never make a profit. So, probably pretty smart taking out a loan here. I think, that, I th I think that's what we're going to go with, even though I know... I know I'm going to lose money and stuff, and this is like, from a business stance, this is a horrible idea, but we're still going to do it because I really want cows and farm sim. I need to watch my finances and see if I can actually make a profit. Because in FS17, I always like lost money. It's just like, it, like I'm just known for losing money with livestock. It's horrible. So I need to watch, uh, I need to watch uh, inputs and stuff here because I sp seem to spend way too much money. Okay, 8RT is going to go back here. Now the plow, I don't really... I mean, we'll keep this in around. I don't really need this even. Should we even leave it hooked up? We couldn't. I'll just kind of back it up here by the 6M over here. There we go. We'll pull her up and drop her down. Now, you guys saw the 9RX in yesterday's vid. I, I, I dislike that tractor. I wanted to test it out. Like, it's, it's not my favorite tractor. Definitely not my favorite tractor. It's kind of, to be honest, I kind of mentioned that it was pretty ugly. It's like, I don't know. I'm, I really judge tractors by looks. I think a lot of you guys do too. But I think the 9RX is just somewhat of an ugly tractor. I don't know. Even though it's a deer, I'm a big deer fan. I, th I think that's kind of an ugly tractor. So for now, 8RT is going to go back here. And time to jump in the semi by a livestock trailer. I'm hoping, dude, we, I'm so surprised we haven't seen a semi mod out in Farm Sim. Or at least I have never, I haven't even seen one on Facebook yet. These semis are pretty like, are pretty like standard to what you'd see like in the US and stuff. But they don't have any like, you know cat logo pete logo kenworth logo it it looks i mean it looks kind of like a kind of kind of like a cat somewhat definitely doesn't look like the old style piece or anything like that but it looks pretty it's it's definitely this semi is a lot what i'm trying to say is this semi is a ton better than something like 
this as far as as far as uh being from the u.s this would be more of what i would consider a uh european truck the man and stuff which these are some pretty good trucks and farms them though like as far as operating them they're pretty dang good trucks so for now we'll unhook this trailer now i think what i'm gonna do for the wilson grain trailer is probably just i think i just gotta keep it here for now can i just drop uh maybe i shouldn't drop it right here i don't know where i want to put it yet i think for now i may put it over we'll put it over by this red shed now this too bad this shed isn't like you can't actually use it it looks pretty sweet. I wish you could use this uh, this barn, I should say. Not shed. We'll back this around here. Whip it around here quick. And then I should be live streaming again later tonight. Now, in tonight's live stream, I'm going to be giving away two keys also. Two Farm Simulator 19 keys for you guys. So, be there at li that live stream. I'll be giving away. I'll probably do like a, a Gleam link or something where you just, you just sign up. Because it's tough to just draw from a live chat. So, I'll probably just have a link to enter the giveaway all you do is like subscribe to my be subscribed to my channel or something it won't be it won't be too tough so wilson's there now we got to go over to the store pick up my livestock trailer i'm about to buy here so we can haul some cows i was wanting to buy this forever but we finally waited for the, uh this video to start buying her hopefully you guys had an awesome thanksgiving too hopefully it was a great thanksgiving i know i spent some time with my family and i'd uh jump back to I drove back to my apartment quick and we got on the live stream too. So I could spend some time hanging out with you guys too on the live stream. So we're going to go, actually not trailers. We're going to go animals. I think it's in animals here. Animals and, oh, animal, tra animal transport. That's right. So we'll get the Wilson Silver Star, the all completely chrome trailer. This looks pretty sweet. I haven't even, I don't, you know what? I've bought it in FarmSim, but you can move around here and see it. For some reason, like in shop, a lot of the rims always look like, it look like they're black rims for some reason. Just always in the shop the way it is. Does this side look black? It could, it must just be the lighting or something. So, oh, how much does this cost? $80,000, okay. So, here's my loan part. I gotta take out the loan. We've borrowed a lot of money here, but... I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna take out 300, or I'm gonna have a $300,000, uh amount bank account amount i guess and because the sim is going to cost me 80k but i know the cows the amount of cows i want to get it's going to cost me a ton of money and i should probably buy a couple extra cows for when i accidentally kill a couple cows because i know that's going to happen so we will i don't purposely kill them by the way guys it's on accident so we'll buy the wilson like i run the clock and then i forget to uh forget to give them water and stuff and they end up dying it's tough man okay so we'll drive up there, pick up the Wilson, and then uh, head to the pasture. And I think we'll probably haul, I'm thinking, depending on how much cows cost, 70 wouldn't be a bad number to start out with. 70 cows. That's pre that's going pretty big, to be honest. But I think that's a fair number, good amount, because our farm's definitely not small. We got some pretty big equipment. So I think 70 is a really good, fair number for us. Now, I was talking about this the other day in the live stream. I'm surprised that, I guess I'm not surprised. I wish giants would have made uh, like beef cows and stuff. And for example, you have beef cows, you have your feed lot and stuff, and then you take your beef cows to the uh, processor and turn them into, you know, all different sorts of things like steak, uh, burgers, I don't even know what else, um, anything else you can make out of beef. And then you have to transport that beef uh, to maybe not a uh, maybe a grocery store and stuff but you, we could do a lot of like hauling where you could take it from the processor plant transport it to the grocery store as a farmer and i know that's not a job of the farmer but it'd be kind of interesting to be it'd be another addition to it if you got to transport some of your meat around and then eventually sell it so we have dairy right now but i would like to see some beef come in here so we'll pull around hook up to the livestock trailer the wilson here and then my my annual purchasing spot is going to be down this road here. It's going to be kind of a ways, actually. We got to go. I'm starting to get this map. I'm starting to get the map down, and I don't have to look at it. There we go. Now, I'm hoping I'm hoping sometime, guys, we can... I'm hoping a, new, a good Midwest map comes out soon. That would be sweet if we could. From you guys other countries, Midwest is just like the, the heart of uh, farming in, uh, in the U.S., I would say. It's where a lot of the... I guess I shouldn't say that. It's where a lot of a lot of grain takes place. A lot of 
Well, it, you could consider it the heart of farming in the U.S., I guess. So, we're doing 33 mile an hour. Now, I always try to, I think I, I need to get my viewer base down. I can tell state to state from where you guys are watching. It's kind of cool. I think my top state is Texas uh, as far as viewers go. How many of you guys are from Texas, by the way? Tell me in the comment section. But as far as viewers go, top state's Texas. One of the reasons is Texas, you know, we do some, we do a lot of like Texas related stuff, agriculture, uh, obviously the agriculture part. And then we do a lot of, we do a lot of mud in, you know, on and I think it's all, all related. It's all related in every state, but Texas also the biggest reason is there's just so much, so many people in Texas. So I see why that's my top state as far as viewership. It's kind of cool to look state by state. So here's where we're going to load up. And I don't know how much cow, these cows cost. I think they're like four or five grand. I got to be careful here. I might spend too much money. So we'll stop her and walk in here. Start loading up. Animal dialogue. What do we got here? Horse, what? Large cow pasture. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So since we have two, it wanted me to go to a certain one. Okay. So 2,500 bucks. Did I get all... So we got brown, brown and white. We got black. We got black and white. I don't want to get Braham, Broman, Broman cows. I, I'm sorry. I apologize if these are the type of cows you guys like. Uh, I'm just going to stick with these three here. These four here. Yeah, these four here. I've never seen a Braham cow in real life. Or Bra Bra Broman cow in real life, I don't think. I've seen some on videos, but I haven't seen one in real life. So we'll just buy. So we can fit 32 in a trailer. So we'll buy like... Uh, we could buy so there's four different ones. So we'll just buy eight, eight, eight each. So we got what five here, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, last eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should have 32 total. How much is this going to cost me? Is that my balance I have? Okay, so it's gonna cost me eighty six thousand dollars. Um, transport fee. Do I have a tra I think I okay. I think what it's doing here. It's wanting to go to the farm. Yes, yeah, so it's wanting to go to the farm here. It doesn't sense that I have my trailer here right now. I must have pulled in wrong or something because it's charging me a fee for transportation. But I have my semi here and I want to transport for it. So, I think I maybe I have to jump in my semi. I don't know why it when it it's not taking it right now. Does it not sense there's a trailer here? Okay, there we go. So now, okay, yes. So it was gonna go to the farm. Now it's gonna go to the Silver Star. I think it's because I jumped out and walked over there. So we want to go. Oh, okay. So we gotta do this cow thing again. Okay, I'll buy them quick and cut it out so you guys don't have to listen to that again. Okay, so I bought the livestock. Now I was completely wrong with this. You can only hold 12 in this trailer. I read that totally wrong. I think what I was reading is I read sheep. And a lot of you guys probably caught that when I said that already. But I couldn't. Obviously, we're not live or something. So I couldn't see that. So yeah, 12 cows, 36 pigs, 38 sheep. So I was totally wrong. Where was it? I said 32, didn't I? It wasn't even 32. Man, I must be dyslexic or something reading this. So we're going to get the Wilson here. Now, it's going to take a lot of trucking. But I think today, today's mainly going to be trucking all day. What we'll do i'm trying to get going we're spinning there but now we're going perfect so we'll probably take three or four loads uh eh, probably three loads today we'll maybe take a load during the live stream start hauling these cows over there i want to do the hauling just because hauling's fun it's realistic it's always fun to drive a semi and i don't want to just magically have them appear at my farm by buying them and then also charging me like six or seven thousand dollars for the transport fee so we're gonna head down the road here now What's the fastest way over to my place? There's a road I can take somewhere soon here. Is that a road? Does that go down there? I think it might. I gotta see this road. I think this might lead... I'm gonna try... Ah, you know what? That's not the way to go. I think what we'll have to do is we'll go through town, or if there's another left here, I'll try taking this next left. That'll be, that'll be good. Yeah, those of you guys who are from Iowa, I was looking state by state again. Back to state by state conversation. And I was only like... It's probably like 12th or 13th. And then again, we don't have much population uh, from Iowa as compared to Texas or anything like that. I think Iowa's like 3.5 million people or something like that. So, but 
as far as rankings on the channel, I was like 12th. I was surprised by that. Okay, come on, guys. Get rolling here. There we go. And we'll, okay, so you guys know where we are. We're at the shop. We'll keep heading through here. Now, as far as the login server, guys, I hope to get that up pretty soon here so we can have an eight man. Maybe I can get it up today, even. I'll take a left here. I should probably be using my blinkers, too. And then we'll keep flying down this road. Any cop? Any cop? Okay, no cop, no stop. We, too bad there weren't cops in here. That'd be kind of fun, actually. So here's our driveway. I was curious to see how this was going to work. First of all, I got to clear this tree, even. I need speed. I need speed. We're actually going to make it. No, we're not. We're making it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And now we're stuck here. Darn it. I figured this would happen. So, we're stuck here because the trailer's pretty much bombed out. Everybody questioned this. They're like, squad, you're not going to be able to make it up here. You're not going to be able to make it up here. That that, that driveway is not going to work. Oh, wait. We are, though. We are. If I can keep going, pulling through this, I don't want this to be like every time because this is just going to be horrible trying to get through here. But we're actually pulling through here. I love seeing these tires spin. It's a lot different in FS17. These back tires kind of stop. They spin. They stop. They spin. And look, we pulled through there. I was just full throttle the whole time. I maybe turned my wheels a little bit. Oh, even through this mud right now? It's kind of... T oh, shoot. What are we going on? Okay. I need to figure out where to unload these cows in here. And then we probably need to start getting... Uh, that might... I don't think that's a gate. There's always one big gate. I'm kind of... I hate pulling around the farm. We're kind of just driving all over the place. You know what? I paid like two... How much did I pay for that sandcastle? I need to sell that thing. I'm not going to leave my money in a sandcastle, dude. How much was that, actually? If it was over $1,000... Okay, it was 200 bucks. 200 bucks is not worth it for a sandcastle. I wonder if I can run it over and destroy it. Oh, it was just right over here. So the barn to get in here, the doors to get in here are right over here. There we go. The, it took me a while to get all this grass in here too. Before there was like dirt and weeds and now we got some nice grass. So that's where you unload it. So we'll back the semi up there. Unload it there. Oh, that was close. That was real close. Hold on, pull forward here. And then back her up to those two barn doors. We should get... Okay, so we should get some type of unloading trigger right here. I'm ca It's coming up. Open. Okay, there we go. An open animal dialogue. Perfect. We got ours. I'm just going to move these all in here. Move, 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 move. Livestock trailer's full. Okay. So confirm. There we go. They should all be unloaded. Let's check them out. Let's see what they do for it, like, animation-wise. Ooh. Okay. So, wait. You're telling me we could fit 200 cows in here? This seems like it's almost maxed out right now. I guess not all 200 cows would be... If, imagine if 200 cows were, would be in here. That'd be pretty crazy. It'd almost look like a nice feedlot, I guess, if we had 200 cows in here. It'd be, they'd be tightly packed in here. So for, And this is the large pasture, too. I'm surprised. I wonder what the small pasture's like. So, we have... I think 12 cows in here. Large cow pasture. We have, yeah. We have, uh, yeah, we have 12 cows in here. Now, I didn't buy, what color didn't I buy? I didn't buy one of the colors. So, we need water. We need straw. We need hay. We need silage. We need grass. I think what I'm going to do is drive back and we'll get one more load. So, we'll have 24 cows in here. And then I'll start feeding these guys. Because I'd love to get some more cows in here first. We'll probably haul another load during the live stream. Just slowly start buying them out. So, we'll hit the road again. If Once I do get a semi, guys, I think whatever modded semi, semi comes out. If it's a Pete, Kenworth, Cat, whatever it is. I'm just going to take the first one. But once I really start going with semis and there's a lot of semis out and there's all different brands. I think what I really want to do is probably take... I want a Mac or a Pete semi is what i do i would i would really want a mac an old school mac would be sweet like we had an fs17 so this road might lead me up there actually i'm gonna try taking this road it's i don't think i've ever taken this road in uh on this map yet but let's see what happens here our semis are already pretty dirty oh okay this is this is kind of tough getting through here <laughs> oh this might not have been a bad idea Okay, you know what? This was a horrible idea. It leaves us to the exact same spot. Probably should have just went straight there. It's fine, though. Wait a sec. Oh, it just reroutes us back to the original road. Okay, that was pointless. It's 
stop sign. Okay, we better actually stop because I can't see all the always here. There we go. Swing wad in here. Crank her. Crank her over. There we go. And Wilson, we barely made that turn too. Do I need fuel? No, I don't need fuel. One thing is in the live streams, you you guys always check my fuel. And I always see whenever I jump in a tractor, I'll be in the tractor for like like three or four seconds. And everybody's like, fuel squad, fuel, it is fuel squad. And I'm like, oh shoot. So you guys catch fuel so quick compared to me. It takes me forever to look at my fuel gauge. Ah, this is tough. There we go. We'll pull through here. Now you guys saw, if those of you guys who were on the live stream last night and watched the live stream, what did we get stuck? We got the 9RX stuck and we got the planner stuck on that railroad track, right? I was trying to maneuver it and it's almost like it was a movie scene. And I, I hear this sound of the railroad sign starting to come down. I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no. And then I look to my right and I see the train coming and I've seen what happens with uh, trains and collisions in FS19 and dude, it just sent my planter just flying it actually got me unstuck but it just sent my planter flying and it probably threw it like the, it, sent, it sent the planter flying like 30 or 40 yards it was insane it was pretty funny to watch though so we're back at the animal dealer now i'll pull in again and this is going to be the last load for a day and we need to start feeding these guys here we go i want to get another farm oh see there's the train i could have got smashed by it like it was just right back there we could have Honestly, got smashed by that. It wouldn't take it any longer. It was right behind us. Yeah, you hear that ticking. That ticking sound of the train coming is what I heard first. So, we'll pull in here. Let's see when we get these animations. Oh, wait. We had it right there. We can open animal dialogue even though... So, I want to get... I didn't get any uh, black and white is what I didn't get. So, we'll buy like four black and white. Five. We'll buy six black and white. There we go. We'll go back to black. I'll just keep blowing this up all the way. Okay, so it's full. Perfect. We'll confirm these and start holding them back. Now, I think what I'm going to do to haul hay, because we got a whole hay over there, I want to load the Cummins up with hay. That'll be pretty cool if we can load that up. <laughs> I really want to load that up. Or. Maybe by live stream, I'll get a new farm truck because there's a couple coming out and they'll probably be released in a couple hours. So, at least like given to me, I mean. But I could use the new farm truck, whatever we get. I'll keep the comments, but whatever we get to haul hay too for the next live stream. I don't know. I have no idea what I want to do. Okay, here's the entrance. I need speed. I know I need speed. Here we go. Pull through here. Ooh. We should be able to pull through it. It's it's trying to pull through it here. <laughs> there we go. So, just getting in the driveway, it's just all about speed, I guess, for now. So, we'll pull up here. Move her around, and then uh, back this in here. There we go, open animal dialogue. Okay, so I'm just gonna move all these quick and these are in here, confirm it, and let's go check her out. I think what it's gonna do is just the ones we add in because somehow this is gonna be maxed in. I know FS, oh, there actually are a lot of cows. I wonder how many cows it'll show. Like say I got 200 cows in here. I don't think it'll show all 200 cows. I'm pretty sure it won't, but this is probably 24. I wanna count the cows so bad. I think this has gotta be, let's just count the cows. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, yeah, this is this has got to be like twenty-four in here because I counted like close to half the cows and it was twelve. So, yeah, this is probably twenty-four in here. But there's no way they put. I don't think they'll put two hundred cows in here. I mean, as far as starving, usually it takes you. A, I think the cows mainly die because they don't have water. So I'll get them food a little later. But for now, water is most important for them right now. So we're on our way back there quick, and we'll just take a nice little cruise back there. And then grab my water trailer. I think I have some type of... I'll pull it with the Cummins, I think. I have some type of water trailer back here that uh, I can use. I think it's almost the milk trailer is what it is. For now, I'm just going to pull this truck around right here. This is where we'll put the truck for now.
Perfect. Trucks are ready to go. Our, okay, so our water trailer should be... There it is. We'll grab that, and then we'll just grab the Cummins and haul it with the Cummins. That'll work good. Okay, I gotta detach this 40-foot PJ. Hopefully the PJ is released soon. I'm thinking it will be. I know a lot of people have it, so... There's... And I... I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with it, so it'll probably be uh, released soon on Mod Hub or somewhere, or I'll let you guys know wherever it's released once it is released. So, the water trailer's back here. I'm gonna yank around here, connect to this, and then hopefully it's somewhat full. Otherwise, I'll have to go fill it up somewhere. Uh, we gotta keep backing up a little bit. Ooh, or is this, this might not connect actually. We're on it right now, but it does not want to connect. I think what I need is the 6R. Darn. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure this hitch doesn't work on it. The bumper, uh, the bumper hitch doesn't work on this Cummins, I'm guessing. I bet that's what's wrong with it. I better shut this off. So, I'm going to need a tractor of some sort. Probably, we could do the Gator actually. Nah, I think the Gator, the Gator's going to have a struggle a little bit. We'll do the 6M. 6M will work good. Maybe I should have, I kind of like using the 6R whenever we're pulling something and doing some road travel. Just because the 6R will do 32 mile an hour. 6M will only do 26 mile an hour. But it's not far down the road, so speed doesn't matter too much here. And then, oh, how are the horses doing? I have not, I haven't ridden these. I didn't ride them yesterday at all. So they're going to need ridden a lot. And then also, I didn't, I don't think I've fed them even for a while. There we go, we're connected. I want to see... How these horses are doing though before we move this water trailer because they may need some water okay the they're like half full so they're good for now um but oh so vegas went down in value i think i thought vegas was worth like 16 grand at one point i haven't been riding vegas so vegas definitely needs ridden we all this needs to be done so maybe during live stream night i'll ride vegas we'll ride hollywood and we'll ride nitro okay so jump in this xm keep on rolling here Okay, we do have a ton of water, so we should be good. This should, I hope this covers the cows, because this is like completely full, and this should cover the cows for now. We need to turn all hazards on, and, oh wait, we don't have a beacon. Thought maybe we did. There we go. Pulling down the road with the 6M here. Now, we haven't done spraying for a while. I better check on spraying, too. We got our beans in the ground. We got pretty much everything in the ground. One thing I should... Oh, one thing I really should have planted is corn. Why didn't I plant corn? Because I'm going to need corn for... I'm going to need silage for the cows. Yeah, we got... Okay, we're going to have to plant a field of corn. It doesn't... And all of it's going to go towards silage. I don't care about selling... Uh, selling corn for grain or anything to any other place. All I care about is using the corn for silage, I think, is what we'll do. So, I need to... I need to plant one one field of uh, corn just for silage here. Okay, we'll pull in here, take a left-hand turn. And, okay, I'm going to go slow. 6M should easily be able to climb up this. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. She's spinning. You can see front wheel assist is in. The front wheels were spinning there. There we go. You know what? That's one thing I really noticed about FS-18 is like when tractors are climbing stuff, when they're going over hills, like stuff spinning and it's spinning really realistically. Like there, the front tires were spinning. You could see it flicking up dirt and stuff. That was pretty dang realistic right there. And then when you climb mountains and stuff with uh, the gator, gator or hills, the gator kind of, it'll tip pretty easily. And that's uh, another realistic thing about it. So we got to figure out where this water goes. Okay, I'm going to turn off those flashes. One of them's, okay, so one of them's going to be hay feed, and then water's going to be somewhere else here. Water, perfect. We'll unload this. I don't know how much it takes. Oh, it's going to take a lot. That bunk is not even close to being full. Oh, wait. Yeah, that bunk is not even close to being full. Oh, my gosh. I need a bigger water trailer. Look at that. 
we're what like 40 or 30 percent full right here that's insane okay so we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot for these cows i think pretty much next stream we're gonna get it all done for the cows and try to give them all their hay i know i need to plant corn we'll get start playing corn uh in tonight's stream and also in tonight's stream i'll be giving away two copies of fs19 so be there i'm guessing it'll be i'll try to schedule it at least an hour or two before so if you have notifications turned on you'll see when the stream's gonna be i'm thinking it'll be anywhere between uh six and eight yeah six and eight uh o'clock tonight central time just anywhere between there is probably when we'll start the stream turn on notifications and you'll know exactly though but anyways guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button hey i'll see you guys later thanks for hanging out with me guys